Okay. So let's look at, we've done a little bit of math already. Let's look at doing loops. So bash has while loops, it has until loops, and it has for loops. So they do similar things they do in other languages. A while loop will run until some conditional is no longer true, at which point it'll stop. A for loop will run across some existing and national user with lists. So it's going to run across essentially a list of things. We'll look at that in a sec. And execute the loop once for each thing in the list. And until loop is just like a while loop, only instead of checking before it starts the loop, it's going to run the loop once and then check the condition. So uh, until and while are kind of complementary. It just is whether you check the condition before starting the loop or whether you always run the loop once and then check the condition before you repeat. While this is do while. Yeah. Similar. Uh, yeah, it would be like a do loop and see. Um, OK. So what I've gone is for loops are the most interesting, and they're actually the ones you're going to use a lot. Um, unlike in C, you don't really do a for loop by telling it you want some variable and you want that variable to come up. Bash was really designed originally with kind of file and system processing in mind. So it's very centric, more like stream processing and lists than this like number processing. Thus, the way the for loop works. So what this basically does is the syntax for the for loop is it's always the word for, followed by the name of some variable, where this variable is essentially going to be, it's going to have a different value each iteration of the for loop. The values that variable is going to take on are a function of whatever you have here. So this is a list of parameters. So I could do something here like, OK? So these are space separated. You know what? I may need to actually do it like this. I think if I put them in quotes, we'll do something different. Um, but what this is essentially going to do, I think, we'll play with this for a sec, but it's going to basically run this loop three times. And the first iteration of the loop, my file is going to be equal to word one. The second iteration of the loop, my file is going to be equal to word two. The third iteration of the loop, my file is going to be equal to word three. Kind of makes sense? OK, so let's comment out some of the stuff I had here. So in bash scripting, the comments are done with the pound character. Um, so what we just want to do is we're just going to echo my file each time. After you give the condition for the for loop, you always have to do the word do. Then you list essentially the body of your loop and then done. Make sense? So if I exit this, and I may have to do this twice. Well, so this time my mistake was it didn't actually access the my file variable, it's just where my file. So don't forget if you want to use the variable, you need the dollar sign. Let's try it again. Okay, so it does what I thought it did. So when we run it, it prints out one, two, three. It's literally going through everything in this list. It's assigning these values to my file one at a time, and then it's running the body of the loop with the current value of my file. People clear on that? So let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's go back to what I was doing before. So instead of manually specifying a list here, I want to put here um, I'm going to put here a bash expansion. So this, like we know, the dot slash just means the folder I'm currently in. The star means match anything in this folder. So what I, this is actually going to do is it's going to loop through every file in my folder, setting my file equal to each file name. Does that make sense? So now, if we so we can essentially write our own very basic version of like the ls command by doing this, right? So it's going to find every file in the folder. It's going to, for each file, then it's going to go through this loop. And it's going to print the name of the file each time. So if we run this, we get what we would expect, the name of each file in the folder. 